Okay, whiskey folk, what have we got today? I have a spectacular list. I've got 10 whiskies for around £50. Let's check them out. Okay folks, welcome back to the Whiskey Friend with me Alan. A little bit of housekeeping guys, the usual. If you're a returning subscriber then thanks very much and welcome back. If you've so happened to pop in for the first time and whiskey's your thing, then you've landed on the right channel. Don't forget to click that bell to keep you up to date whenever I'm putting out a new video. Just a friendly reminder from me to thee folks, it doesn't cost you anything, it's completely free. You're helping the channel out massively on its way to the magical 2k. Not too far away now folks, I think we might crack that one soon. So, the list today guys, I've got 10 spectacular whiskies. Uh, obviously, I've been through lockdown, I've bought a lot of whiskey over the last 2 or 3 months. I'm going to share some of these with you now. Some of these have been on my bar for a long, long time. Some are constantly on the bar. Some I've picked up recently at offers, so I'm just going to share some of them with you. Um, I don't think there's anything, regardless where you are in your journey guys, whether you're a beginner, or whether you're intermediate, or whether you're a established whiskey guy, then I think there's something here for everyone. I'm sure there's something here you like, if not all of them like me, I'm loving them all, so I'm going to just share them all one by one. So, without any further ado folks, let's, let's just get on with this and get into the whiskey, that's why we're here. So, the first one on the list today folks, is Loch Lomond 12. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Um... Looking back guys, I can't believe that I haven't reviewed this. Uh, I've, I've checked out and I think every YouTuber on the planet has reviewed this one except me. So I may have to rectify that very, very soon. I did pick this up probably three or four years. This has been a constant on my shelf for two or three years now. I picked up a, a, a case of them two or three years ago. They were putting them out at £28 a bottle. So I picked up, I picked up half a dozen bottles. And I've been drinking them ever since. This is actually the last bottle I've got now. So I've, I've I've went through the other five over the years. And they say this is the last one. So I think this won't be too long before this gets cracked open. So this bottle, what's going on with this? Loch Lomond. It's, this has been matured in three different cast types. It's in bourbon, it's refill and it's recharred. It's got a real fruity character. Um, it's peachy, it's pears, it's... Lemon, lime. It's got a little bit of spice, a little bit, a little bit of smoky character as well. But it's it's tropical. It's confectionery. It's real. It's got a real, real complex drink. It's I say it's forty six percent. It's a complex dram for that kind of money. It's wonderful, wonderful stuff. Uh, it's clean. It's fresh. Um, just wonderful, wonderful stuff. And I think Loch Lomond are doing great things at the minute. I've seen a lot of. There's lots and lots of whiskey coming out of Loch Lomond. Uh, I've seen some really nice single casts popping around in a minute. Uh, may have to check out some of those. But yeah, Loch Lomond 12, 46% ABV. Its normal retail price, guys, is about 30, 30 to 40 pounds. Anywhere you could pick up anywhere in that, depending on what the offers are on. So that's that one. Let's move on. Okay, folks, just moving on to the next one. This is one that I have reviewed. This is the Blair Raffle 12, which is part of Diageo's uh, Flora and Fauna range. This one's been on my shelf for a long, long time, guys. It's my usual first drama of the night whenever I go out. If it's, a, if it's at a whiskey bar and I can get a hold of it, it's usually my starting malt. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic stuff. F fair play to Diageo. The, the, this is really the only Blair Athol distillery bottle that comes out that you can pick up some independent bottlers I say this is the only one, most of this goes into blends so fair play to Diageo, it's bottled at 43% ABV but it doesn't detract from this whiskey yes there's a little bit of colour in it but it's wonderful wonderful stuff, it's thick, it's buttery, it's sherry influenced it's got those red fruits, red apples it's spicy, it's got a beautiful black pepper backbone going through it, uh, yeah this for me is super super whiskey, it's got a really really nice chocolate note as well going through it, 
so it's quite complex as well. £54, £55 I think this one is, so this one's just a little bit over the £50, but I felt it deserved to be on this list. Uh, if you've tried it, I hope you've loved it as much as I have. But, moving on to the next one guys, let's crack through these. Mm -hmm. This is one you probably have saw before, probably saw it many a time behind me. This is the Glendronach 12, this is matured in uh, X Oloroso casks and Pedro Jimenez casks. See, it's 12 year old, 43% this one again. But the beauty of this, Glen Alakiev must take a lot of credit for bottling this at 43%, but it's unchill filtered as well. I can't think of another whiskey off the top of my head that's unchill filtered at 43%. It comes in around about the 35 to 40 pound bracket. For this quality of whiskey, it's absolutely fantastic. It's uh, it's sweet, it's creamy, it's got a beautiful mouthfeel, it's got some beautiful ginger spice, uh, got those soft fruits, dark fruits, red fruits, plums, raisins, it's got a long finish, it's a, it's a little bit nutty on the finish, um, but it's absolutely wonderful stuff. Um, as everyone knows, I'm a Glendronach fan. I don't know whether it's my favourite, the 12, the 15, the 18, the 21 tough choice to pick out of them. I'm sure Chris at the last drop will tell you which one's the favourite. Uh, I think it's the, for me, I think it's the 18, but I'm sure Chris will tell me it's the 12. But cheers, Chris. If you haven't checked out Chris's channel, it's the last drop, guys. Just pop over and have a little uh, look at his channel and just drop him a quick sub. Doing a great stuff. Great job. Okay, so Glendronach 12. Let's move on. Where are we going next? Okay, let's do this one. Moving over now to Glen Alecky. Glen Alecky 12. Again, it's bottled at 46% ABV. Unchill filtered in natural colour. It's from the Valley of the Rocks. I think this is one of Ralphie's favourites. Quite sure he done this as a Whiskey of the Year. I'm pretty sure it's been a Whiskey of the Year for Ralphie. Uh, price bracket again, 35 to £40. Pounds. If you're lucky enough to get any less than that, then all the better. Um, that's in the UK, I don't know what it is in various uh, worldwide markets guys, but in the UK it's that kind of 35 to 40 pounds. The prices I'm giving are all kind of UK prices, so they may be a bit of variance depending on where you are. Uh, but yeah, no, this is another one. Glenallachie 12. Again, it's readily available. It's sherry driven. It's dark fruits, dried fruits, typical sherry notes. Lots of honey, lots of vanilla, lots of toffee. Beautiful spice. Absolutely wonderful stuff. I have reviewed this one as well, guys. Mm -hmm. If I can pop a link again, I'll pop a link. Uh, let's crack on. What can I say? Glen Alecky 12. Okay, guys, where are we going next? Let's get a bit of bourbon cask. In the form of... Deanston 12. 46.3 ABV. Unchill filtered. This has took a bit of a battering as you can see. I must be due to order another one of these pretty soon. Let's see if I can find a bargain on this one. So many whiskies. So little money. Uh, yeah, this one is is matured in X, X bourbon casks. So there's lots of heather, honey, vanilla, toffee. Nice and spicy. It's creamy, creamy caramel sweetness. It's got a beautiful oak, some really nice oak notes in it. It's, it's a light, satisfying dram. Beautiful balance between the sweetness and the oak. Uh, lots of vanillas, lots of honeys. This should be on everybody's bar, guys. This this is in the price bracket of the kind of 35 to 40 pound mark again. So again, none of these are breaking the bank. Should always be there. If you've tried it, fantastic. If you've not, you must search this one out, folks, so you won't be disappointed. Particularly if you like ex bourbon casks. Okay, guys, let's switch it up a little bit. Come off, I'll head across the pond. Picked me up a bottle of Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey in the form of the Wild Turkey Barrel Proof. Wow. This is a whopping. 58.4% ABV, 
It's 116.8 proof. So I picked up this recently at £48. I think it was Master of Malt or Whiskey Exchange. I can't really remember which one it was. But this is a fantastic bourbon, guys. As you all probably know, I'm a Elijah Craig fan. But this, for me, is, is up there with the Elijah Craig. I'm not saying it's better. Or I'm saying it's, it's up there. Proof-wise, quality-wise. I think Wild Turkey are putting out some super stuff. If you've probably tried the Wild Turkey 101, which I think you can pick up here for about £20, this is just the volumes ramp straight up. It's just the power's just blasting out of this one. Um, but it has all those beautiful flavours, typical bourbon notes, lots of brown sugars, lots of caramels, lots of sweetness, lots of spice. Absolutely wonderful. As I say, £48 I think I got this for. Paid a little bit extra for, for postage, but... Uh, every bit worth it. So the wild turkey rare breed barrel proof. Okie dokie, let's head over to Isla. Before you get excited, it's not peated. Sorry folks, just hang on. This is the Buna Haben 12. I picked this one up recently, I couldn't believe. Picked up for £30 on offer. Uh, Absolutely fantastic. Buna having 12, small batch, 46.3% ABV again. Beautiful black bottle. But this one again, guys, this is just unbelievable whiskey for that kind of money, that quality. It's all dark fruits, it's 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 dried fruits, it's toasted nuts, it's a little bit of coastal. It's matured in ex sherry casks and bourbon casks. It's all going on. It's it's just awesome, awesome whiskey. How how they can put this quality whiskey out of that kind of money? There's supposed to be a little bit of smoke in it, guys, but I can't find it. I can't find smoke anywhere in it. Uh, as I say, I got this at thirty pounds, which is a no-brainer. Uh, and this is one that definitely should be on everybody's bar so check it out Buna Haben 12 look out for that label guys because you must get a hold of that okie dokie now let's get into the peat I've been on a little bit of peat journey lately guys but I'm going to crack on with some of these just before I'm going to go into the peat I'm going to have a sip of this you're probably wondering what's in the glass I almost forgot what was in the glass I'm talking that much look at that Wonderful. What do you think it is? Wow. It's fruity. It's sweet. It's sherried. Is there smoke? Is there not smoke? Yeah, you've guessed it. It's the Buna Haben 12. I'm just going to have a wee sip of this before I crack into the peat. So, cheers, folks. Oh. Wow, how good is that? Wow, that's just incredible. £30 whiskey, man, wow. This is why I love doing these lists. Okay, let's get all you peaty guys into the mood now. So I'm going to do some peat. I'm staying on Isla. I'm staying on Buna Haben. This is the Buna Haben Moiner. It's just been added recently to the Buna Haben core range, where it's joining the... 12 year old, the 18 year old, the 25 year old as part of the core. Yeah, that's heavily peated that. This is bottled at 46% ABV. This is a mix again of casks. It is... It's first fill, second fill sherry. It's also got bourbon casks and it's got a mix of red wine casks. So it's got a real, real mix going there. So there's a lot going on with it. It's there's it's coastal, it's sea salt, it's got that sea breeze, it's heavily peated, it's peppery, it's spicy. It's a typical Buna Haben, it's a typical Moiner. Um absolutely wonderful stuff at Buna Haben. But it's salty, it's earthy, it's oaky, it's smoky, it's got a wonderful ginger spice on the finish. This is absolutely fabulous whiskey, guys. I did pay a little bit over the £50 for this. It was £54.95. So I paid a little bit more for that one. But in my opinion, it deserves to be on this list. And it's absolutely 
wonderful, fabulous whiskey. So that's the Buna Habit Miner. So let's move on. I've got a couple left. This wouldn't be a whiskey friend list if it didn't have a Kilkerran on it. So here we go. We have a Kilkerran. Again, we're sticking with a heavily peated theme. The Kilkerran. Heavily peated. This is the batch one. I've got the batch one, the batch two. So batch one is 59.3 and the batch two is 60.9. Again, I have reviewed both of these guys. So if you want to ever pop back, I'll pop a link to these. Uh, Kilkerran at its best. 45 to 50 pounds, depending on where you can get it. The batch three should be out now already, guys. But the pandemic has put a wee bit of stop to... Kill Karen getting this one out. I know it's ready to go, so as soon as lockdown's over and the, the distillery can get opened back up, this will get back out again. But again, it's just absolutely quality. What a whiskey. It's how Kill Karen do it, I'm not too sure. But I'm not going to go into too much detail, guys. So if you have a wee pop up above, it's just absolutely outstanding whiskey. This is beautiful stuff. Um, and it's under £50, man. It's incredible. Don't know how to do it. Okay, guys. Moving on to the last one. Have I saved the best for last? It's debatable. It's Kilkerran again. But it's... Look at that. It's sherried. It's peated. It's got it all. This is the Kilkerran 8 Oloroso. 57.1% ABV. Unchill filtered natural colour. The last time I had this on a video, guys, I just drilled all over the place. So I'm going to try not to get excited this time. But this is just wonderful, wonderful whiskey. This was one of the very first, this is probably the first whiskey that I tasted in 2020. And when I put my video out, I actually made a statement that it possibly could be the whiskey of the year for me and it was the very first whiskey that I tried in 2020. Has that changed? It's debatable. I've tried a lot of wonderful whiskey since. Just have to wait and find out if it becomes number one at the end of the year. But again, this is under £50, guys. There's a wee bit of hysteria being created around this bottle because it, it, it went kind of... A big hype came out about it. Everybody was trying to get it. Everybody was sourcing it here, there and everywhere. So it became a little bit tough to get a hold of. But I keep seeing on all my social media platforms as pictures coming on kind of on a daily basis. This is arrived today. This is arrived today. It's on Facebook. It's on Twitter. It's on Instagram. So there must be a few of these kicking around. I know some places haven't had it yet. Which is unfortunate. But I do believe that you can get a hold of it. Whether you can still get it for £50, that's debatable, guys. Uh, you may have to pay a little bit more to get it. But in my opinion, this this is not a £50 whiskey. This, this, for me, could be a £100 whiskey. I would pay £100 for this. Uh, but gladly I didn't. Gladly I managed to buy a few bottles of it. And I've got a little bit of a backup of it, which is absolutely fantastic. So that is the... Let's tell you a little bit. I have reviewed it. It's a fun review, guys. So if you want to go and check it, I will pop a link to this one because I did get a wee bit gooey in this video. But it's it's typical Campbelltown. It's got the Campbelltown funk. It's dirty. It's damp. It's it's dark dark fruits. It's honeyed. It's nutty. It's everything. It's berry, road loads of berries. It's it, wow. It's. There's too much to tell you in this video, guys. I'm coming up for 20 minutes in this video now, so I'm going to try and get out of here. Just go and have a look at the link, guys. It's well worth it. So that's the number 10. That's the Kilkenna 8 Oloroso. Just before I go, guys, I'm going to do... There's a few bottles that, that came close to the list that just missed out because I didn't want to make it 14 or 15 bottles, but I could easily have made it 14 or 15. So a couple of honourable mentions that should really maybe be in the list. Uh, I've got the Klein Lease 14. Again, 40 to 50 pounds, 40, 45 pounds. I have seen it on offer recently at 35, which is a, as cheap as I've ever seen it. If you've picked up at that 35 pounds, well done, guys. Aaron Bothy's another one. I'm a big fan of the Aaron Bothy's. 
There's a lot of bothies kicking around, but the new ones, they're all fantastic. They're around about the £50 mark. The Glen Allicky 10 cast strength is another one which is absolutely fantastic. These are all around about the £50 mark. So there's a few there that have missed that could have been on the list. You're probably wondering where the other one is. There's, there's one that I know you're all wondering where it is. I've got it here. The reason I've not got it on the list, which is the Kilcarran 12, is since ever since I've been on YouTube, I think this Kilcarran 12 has probably been on every list that I've ever done. Regardless whether I've done a 15-year-old age statement or a 21-year-old age statement, that probably found its way into the list somehow. But yeah, no, I've decided this is absolutely wonderful. Again, under £50. It's a wee bit tough to find at a minute, but I don't know if the pandemic's got a little bit to do with that. But this should easily be readily available anytime soon. Uh, I say under 50 which is wonderful. So that's me, guys. So over to you. I'm going to pass the reins over. Drop me a comment. Is there any other whiskies that should be on the list that I haven't put on the list? Is there anything that I should be looking out for? Any fantastic whiskies that you can recommend for around about that £50 bracket? Just drop them into the comments down below. That's me. That's pretty much it. This has turned out a wee bit longer than I probably wanted it to. I might be able to chop it down a little bit. But that's it. I'm Alan. You can catch me on Twitter. Facebook, all the usual social media platforms, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, we're also on Patreon, pop along, have a look at all the pages, we've even got the Whiskey Friend page on Facebook, uh, check that out guys, and until the next time, I'm Alan, the pleasure is in the sharing, and I'll see you all very very soon, thank you, bye bye.